couple of weeks ago, I was stuck in traffic in front of TD Garden in Boston thinking, how do people do this every day? Then I started thinking of all the wonderful nature outings I had in Cape Ann and figured I'd share some easy yet rewarding outdoor spots with y'all. In less than an hour's drive from Boston, you could be relaxing on a nice beach or taking a pleasant walk in the woods, enjoying some fishing, or engaging in other fun activities. We'll cover things to do at each spot, parking tips, and other tidbits. And to make your life easier, if you don't want to listen to me, I posted all of this video's info and more on my site at koa.org forward slash Cape Ann. We'll start with the easiest outing that still has amazing scenery. Halibut Point State Park is at the very northeast tip of Cape Ann within Rockport. A very easy trail leads you right to an out of commission quarry, now full of water. This impressive site of massive flat cut stone is no longer used for harvesting granite, but rather a hangout for gulls and other birds. There are even some fishes in that quarry. Swimming is not permitted, sorry. The Cape Ann area is well known for its current and past fishing industry, but it once had a quarrying industry that rivaled the fishing industry. You'll find plenty of adorable chipmunks as you make your way to the nearby Overlook. I haven't seen so many chipmunks per acre in a long time. Bird watching is a good activity here and fishing is permissible from the shoreline, but there's no pier so it's a bit tricky to fish. Take a chance catching some species like striped bass, Atlantic bonito, and nice sized cunners. Look at those teeth. This is the easiest to access nature locale we'll talk about today. Persons in wheelchairs or using walkers could access most of the features. The trails are well maintained, but the small gravel might make it a bit tricky if you're using a wheelchair or walker. It's a real small park. The Ocean Overlook is only about a half mile from the parking lot. As of 2022, a parking fee is charged between May 14th and October 30th. It's five bucks for in-state plates and a steep $20 parking fee for out-of-state license plates. Pay at the kiosk and watch out for chipmunks. Ah, uh, Good Harbor Beach is a favorite of the locals. This is one of the largest fine sand beaches in the area. It's a place ideal for the beach bum. Kayak, swim, surf, or just soak up the sun on the warm sand. It's absolutely packed with humans in the summer months when the water gets warm enough. And the water around here only gets to the low 70s if you're lucky. So it helps to have some extra layers like these locals if you enjoy swimming. Behind the beach, you'll find herons and egrets eating small fishes in the estuary, and these little fishes will be swimming with you in the surf as well. The locals say that during low tide, you can walk to Salt Island. You can go find yourself some crabs in the low tide waters. Just don't get trapped as the tide returns. It's an easy beach to access. The most difficult aspect is just walking across sand. Residents of Gloucester should invest in a yearly pass, while non-residents must reserve a parking pass 10 days in advance between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Get those passes at Gloucester's Township page, and I've also posted that link at coa.org forward slash Cape Ann. So next up we have the Dogtown Trails and the Babson Boulders. Go here for a calming yet eerie walk in the woods and find yourself some old school propaganda etched in the boulders. Some say this area is haunted, if you believe in that sort of thing. It may very well be though, I heard only two birds on my entire hike in these woods. This Dogtown area between Gloucester and Rockport was originally the common settlement in the 1700s. Eventually the fishing industry grew, people moved to the shoreline, and the common settlement population declined. The name Dogtown probably arose from the number of wandering dogs in the area post-Revolutionary War. By the 1800s, this area was completely abandoned, the houses torn down, leaving only the remnants of cellars where those lots are marked by numbered boulders now. You'll find the Babson boulders along the Babson boulder trail. These boulders came about after the area was abandoned, placed in the 1930s by the eccentric yet wealthy Roger Babson. His goal was to boost the morale of the community during the time of economic hardship. Little did he know that almost a century later would Galen Mook attempt to physically interpret the propaganda. Keep following the Babson Boulder Trail to find yourself at the Babson Reservoir for a bit of scenery. Sorry, fishing is not allowed at any of Gloucester's reservoirs. These trails are easy to moderately difficult. There are areas of inclines, declines that have boulders protruding from the paths. The trails aren't marked that well, so bring your smartphone or a compass. And also, there is a good amount of litter 
and maybe a few homeless encampments. There is free parking at the east entrance from Cherry Street to Dogtown Road. That parking lot at the southern side, I checked it out. It looks like parking is not welcome. Kate Pond within Rockport is a hidden spot that I believe is a great place to take the kids. It's not too large, but offers some good inland scenery. Bring your fishing rods and have a chance at catching some largemouth bass or hard hitting chain pickerel. This is also a nice spot to go bird watching or find reptiles and amphibians such as the northern water snake or the eastern ribbon snake. And if you're not a snake fan, don't worry, none of the wild snakes in Cape Ann are dangerous to humans. Boating and swimming are not allowed at this spot. It's not that hard to traverse this area, only the paved lot down to the pond has a steep decline on a paved road. Parking is a bit odd, there's no official signage saying parking is allowed or not allowed for pond access. I parked in this spot on two different occasions and the officers from the nearby police station seem to have no problem with it. There's also the possibility of parking at the visitor center, just a bit closer to the main road. As always, park at your own risk. Ravenswood Park in Gloucester has over 600 acres of woods to hike around. Trails vary in difficulty from very simple, like the old Salem Road, to more difficult side trails. Keep an eye out in the trees for whitened branches looking like snow in the warmer months. These insects are beach blight aphids that feed off of the sap of the American beach. Their dancing filamentous waxy backside gives them the nickname Boogie Woogie Aphids. And you can really appreciate the number of boulders in Cape Ann just by walking through these woods. And just to think glaciers oddly dropped all of these giant boulders after carrying them for hundreds of miles. And many of these boulders are covered by palm-sized smooth rock tripe. This is a lichen, and that's a symbiotic pairing of a fungi and a photosynthetic partner. And there's plenty of other cool fungi here as well if you like that, like the well-known chicken of the woods. Mountain biking is allowed on certain trails, but not during the wet months from March 1st to April 30th. And upon my last visit here in 2022, Massachusetts was in a severe drought, so the Great Magnolia Swamp was one of the driest swamps I'd ever seen, though the trail still offered a relaxing and beautiful walk. I only saw a few amphibians, but hopefully their populations aren't stunted too badly by the drought, and you'll see and hear more wildlife upon your visit. Again, if you stick to the old Salem Trail, it's super easy, but it gets trickier on other trails. It's open sunrise to sunset with free parking year round, and just get off 127 there to find it. Chewbacca Woods, wait, no, that's not right. Chewbacca Woods is a serene inland area I found when I was looking for an inland fishing spot. There's 113 acres to explore. Round Pond is the only pond that allows for fishing, so you can take a chance catching largemouth, yellow perch, bluegill, and even chain pickerel. Non-motorized boats are allowed on Round Pond. And while I was fishing, I heard plenty of mountain bikers, joggers, and casual walkers enjoying the fairly well-maintained trails. So you can find yourself some cool wildlife within these woods or down by the ponds. There's also a cool little mini beach at the south side of Chewbacca Lake. And maybe you also get to see the thousands of alewife shoaling in the shallows like I did. So I'd say the trails were mostly easy to moderately hard. There were some inclines and declines and rains would make this area quite muddy. There were plenty of free roadside parking spots all along Chewbacca Road with the main lot just across the road from Beck Pond's south end. Stage Four Park offers a little bit of everything. It's the place to go if you wanna get outside but don't like diving too deep into nature. There's a dog park, beach volleyball, baseball field, beaches, cookout spots, and it has historical significance to the area. So you can find old school cannons that overlook Gloucester's Harbor or enjoy watching the local fishers work their lobster boats from the shoreline. The largest beach here, Cressy Beach, won't really offer a nice fine sand beach to bask upon unless it's low tide, but it's still a nice spot to get into the water and find a crab or two. The large boulders along the shore offer great scenery of the ocean as well as fun little finds as the tide retreats. These boulders also offer a nice spot to fish from if you're an angler. Many of the features at this park are accessible by wheelchair, including the visitor center, but not everything will be that easily accessible. Like with Good Harbor Beach, residents should invest in a yearly pass, while non-residents must reserve a parking pass 10 days in advance uh, between Memorial Day and Labor Day. So again, you get those 
passes on the Gloucester's township page. Again, I've posted all of this uh, relevant links, maps, at koa.org forward slash cape, and in case you want to quickly reference addresses and other tidbits. So I hope this helps you in your future outings getting outdoors. Spread some knowledge. Be nature heroic.